Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to install WordPress via Webmin on Ubuntu 20.04. Now to get started, first up, open up a terminal and type the command sudo apt update. Now this is going to update all of the apt repositories on your Linux operating system. In the meantime, what you can do is that you can come over to this blog post which is linked in the description box so that you know all of the commands that I'm going to use within this tutorial. This is a step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to install WordPress via Webmin. Now, once the APT repositories have been updated, the next step is to actually install wget, transport, http, and the software properties common. Now, for that, what you can do is that you can come over to the blog post, copy this command, and paste it inside the terminal after using a sudo command. After that, hit enter, and the downloading process and the installation process would begin. Next step, we need to install Webmin. Now, to install Webmin, what you're going to do is that you're going to first add the key using this command. So paste that command inside the terminal with the help of a sudo command and then hit enter. Now if you get this error that this command can only be used by root, then simply type the command sudo space su. Now this is going to shift you over to the root user. After that, simply run this command wget and hit enter. This is going to add in the key for webmin. Once that is done, you need to add the repository with this particular key. For that, simply copy this command from the blog post and paste it inside the terminal, hit enter. Now once that is done, the next step is to actually install webmin. So for that simply type in the command apt install webmin and also give the flag hyphen y so that it skips the confirmation dialog box. Now once the webmin has been installed, first of all start the service of webmin. So for that simply type in systemctl start webmin and then hit enter. After that you also want to enable it during the system boot. So for that simply type in the command systemctl enable webmin and then hit enter. And what you can do next is you can check the status of webmin by simply typing it systemctl status webmin and then hit enter. So as you can see that it is in the running state right now. Now to access webmin simply head over to a browser and then simply type in the URL as localhost and then a colon and then the port number 10,000 to basically accessing the webmin port. And you might get this warning but it's okay simply press on advance and then accept the risk and continue. After that, provide the root username of your operating system and the root password. Once you do that, simply click on sign in. Now once that is done, bring up your webmin portal and then start installing the LAMP stack. So now what you're going to do is that you're going to click on system right over here and then you're going to choose software packages and then you're going to choose this option that says select package from apt and then simply type in lamp hyphen server and then this raised to the power symbol or people like to call it the hat symbol and after that simply click on this install button to start installing the lamp server once the, the complete package list loads up, simply click on install now button to start the installation process of the LAMP server. Now once the packages have been installed, then simply click on the return to software packages option. Now the next step is to actually configure the Apache web server. Now to do that, simply click on this option that says unused modules and then from here simply choose Apache web server right over here. Now in this Apache web server, we want to create a new virtual host. So simply click on create virtual host and then you will see all of these options. In here what you want to do is that you want to specify that WordPress directory path. So I'm going to set it equal to forward slash var forward slash www forward slash html forward slash wordpress. For the server name, choose this option to manually provide the server name. And then what you can do is you can simply write wordpress.example.com. Once all of the settings are done, simply click on the create now button to create this Apache web host. Now next step, you need to install WordPress within this directory using webmin. Now to do this, simply click on tools and then click on file manager. Now through this file manager, you're going to go inside the directory. So it was var and then www, then html. Now within this HTML directory, what you want to do is that you want to extract your downloaded version of WordPress. Now if you have not downloaded WordPress, then what you can do is that you can go over to the official website and download the latest version of WordPress from there. Now we already have a folder named as WordPress, but this is in most cases empty. So what we can do is that we can delete this folder. Once it has been deleted, right over here we want to paste in our other folder. So what we do is, we simply click on file and then click on upload to current directory. Then we open up the downloads directory and we simply drag and drop our wordpress zip file right over here 
and then we click on the upload icon. Now this is going to move the WordPress directory into webmail. After that, simply open up the extracted or the uploaded file, copy all of the contents that were present in this file and then paste them inside the HTML directory. Once that is done, the next step is to actually change the ownership of this folder. So select your WordPress folder, click on tools and then click on change ownership button. Now for the username, simply name it as www-data and for the group name, also name it as www-data. Turn on the recursive option and then click on the change icon. Now the next step is to actually create a database and a user for WordPress. Now for that what you can do is you can simply click on the servers button and then choose MySQL database server. Now in case you don't see any listing inside the server tab, what you can do is that you can simply click on this button that says refresh modules. So basically that is going to refresh the list of all the modules for webmin. Now in this MySQL database server, you need to create a new database. So simply click on this option that says create a new database. Then simply create a name for the database. I'm just going to call this one as WordPress and then simply click on the create button. After that, simply click on user permissions and then click on create new user. So give it a name. I'm just going to call this one as WordPress as well and give it a password. And for the permissions, you need to select all of the permissions and at the end, simply click on the create button. Now the next step is to actually visit the Apache web host for WordPress and then install WordPress. So for that, simply type in localhost put a forward slash and then type in WordPress, basically the directory in which we have placed in our files. Now that is going to open up this WordPress installation wizard. So choose the language, click on continue, click on let's go, put the database name as WordPress. The username was also WordPress and place in your password that you had created for the new user. Once that is done, simply click on the submit button. Once that is done, simply click on this button that says run the installation. Now you come to the WordPress installation. So give yourself a site title. So I'm just going to call this one as wordpress.cis.com. Provide yourself a username for this site. So it's going to be admin123 and then give yourself a password and then provide the email of the administrator account. Once that is done, simply click on the install WordPress button right over here. And your WordPress site has been installed. Simply click on the login button to log into the dash panel, provide the username and the password. And just like that, you will be inside your WordPress installation of your newly created WordPress website. Now that brings us to the end of this tutorial. In case you want to deploy Webmin or WordPress on Google Cloud, Azure or AWS, then you can simply check out the videos linked in the description box. Other than that, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. Make sure to check out the link in the description box for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to install WordPress using Webmin. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. 